I was finally able to go ahead and get Beckett's last mission. I was having some issues earlier. And I, I think it was the camp. <laughs> Although, after I had finished setting up my camp, someone else set their fucking camp up right next to mine. So, I don't know what what's the deal with that, but oh well. Screw it, right? We got our camp up. Okay, so... We're doing Beckett's last mission right here. Oh, excuse me. I'm telling you, this Tesla rifle is the best gun on here hands down uh, it's better than the uh, than the plasma weapons although uh, plasma weapons are good guns yeah I feel like this Tesla rifle just decimates them and I, I know I said they're the best guns but this plasma rifle is the shit so this is who we're here to kill. And like that, boom. Oh shit. Okay, so we got her down, the eye. So now I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to rescue somebody. Oh shit, did it make it? No. So this is the Blood Eagle camp. I got my Hellfire armor on with the Vault Boy for the helmet. Oh, rocking the Vault Boy. Oh, shit. Looks like it's shooting something else. Or shooting at something else, I should say. Got some more 5.56. Five, Ammunition. Oh, got another Raider. Looks like he's down. Oh. the shish kebab oh so the blood eagles I notice have the meat bags on uh oh shit they have the meat bags also oh shit like the um super mutants do Sting wings do cranberry moonshine. Get a little bit of HP. I usually put the camera as a favorite, but it takes it off. Uh, I'm not too sure why, but yeah, it normally takes it off. Just because there's some missions where you take some pictures and it's just easier than bringing up the pit boy. But yeah, maybe it's not supposed to be equipped as a favorite. Because it is a camera after all, so... 
So they got meat bags and they got junk bags? Oh shit. Okay, I don't know where this guy is shooting that damn bazooka. But we're gonna find him. We're gonna do an investigation. Fucking around and most wanted. Give me a ride, punk, or I will dust your ass, biatch. <laughs> All right, got a disease cure. Awesome. Military cap. Let's see what we got up here. Some more beer. All right. Dandy boy apples. And we got a stuff boy. Oh, Earl's terminal. Get a little bit of context. Floyd takes the best stuff again. Got back from the raid today. And what to do, you know? comes time to divvy up the loot and Floyd picks the choice uh, choices bits again <laughs> looks like he's a little irritated with Floyd I had two of my guys haul back this big comfy chair and this guy just marches right up acting all entitled says he wants something more comfortable to sit on while he's up in that tower all day imagine that complaining about sitting around meanwhile I got back pain every night when I go to bed all right, so yeah, it seems like he's uh, pretty pissed off. What a character. Today this guy takes this nice soft footstool to go with his chair. With his chair? Well, that chair ain't his. It's mine. And it's sitting next to my bed right now. Right where it belongs. Floyd stole my chair. Here we go again. Stay calm, Earl. Stay calm. Maintain composure. I'm going to kill him. All right. So, you know, typical raider shit. Uh, fighting amongst each other. Can't get organized. Typical raiders. Three oh eights. You know, it's funny when you have a certain gun equipped. Yeah, it, it, you know, yeah, I don't know. So the turrets ain't going to be bothering me anymore. Let's activate them. They're going to start shooting. They're going to start shooting at the raiders. Alright, screw it, yeah. Um, technically I'm done with the mission. All I had to do was kill the eye. I already did that. So... Yeah, but I'm getting shot at. Oh. Oh, that's why. There's a freaking turret right there. Let's go ahead and deactivate it. <laughs> All right. So now it's shut down. And now we're just.
just gonna destroy everything. Earl's note to Randy. Floyd has got to go. All right, you know, so typical Raider shit, more backstabbing, more unease between the group. Can't trust one another. One guy's gotta go. He's taking too much shit. Typical Raiders. Um, I don't necessarily like the Raider gangs, so yeah. Wardrum. Got one of those. I don't really want it. Yeah, I don't really necessarily like the Raider gangs. I think it's cool that you can be a Raider. Even when I played Fallout 4 uh, with the Nuka World DLC, I know that was kind of like the whole thing. You can join the Raider group or you can join the Raiders. You can pick a side. You can take over Nuka World and all this other stuff. Um, but I didn't really care for it. I thought it was a cool concept at first, but like I said, I don't like the Raiders. I usually tend to play as a good guy, I guess you can say, so I don't typically like the Raiders, so whenever I played Nuka World, I would just do some missions, get a little bit of XP, and then basically just kill all the Raiders. That's basically how I would do it. Oh shit. like that 50 caliber machine gun. Only Floyd's key can unlock. What? Oh, I guess I thought I had Floyd's key. I guess not. Floyd's terminal. Let's see what the beef was. And he's gloating about the chair. Earl was whining and wouldn't stop yammering. The yammering on after the raid today because I took his chair. That mangy mongrel has the nicest bed out of all of us. If I'm gonna be sitting around all day while they go raiding, I'm gonna be comfortable while I do it. Goodbye, Earl. Well, well, I get back to my post tonight after dinner and my chair is gone. I guess it decided to get up and walk to Earl's room all on its own. I took back what was rightfully mine and now it's time to claim his life too. It's time to put an end to this tomfoolery. Randy would handle leading the raids better anyways. Alright, so they both had the same idea. They wanted to kill each other. And is this Floyd? No, that's not Floyd. I got a lot of moonshine. Well, that's just a jug. But Okay, baseball grenade, blood pack. Make a stem pack. Alright. 
I want to know where this chair is. This chair that they're fighting about. It's so crazy, they decided to kill each other over a fucking chair. Of all things, a chair. Oh, you can't have this chair. It's mine. I want it. I want to be able to sit my ass down and be comfortable while I'm doing it. Uh, yeah. I don't get it. Again, I don't like the Raiders. I'm not... I'm not a, uh... fan of the group. Um, I think it's cool that they allow you to be a part of the Raider gang, but... Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Raider gang. I think the Raiders suck. And death to them all. <laughs> all right. That's the post. Crazy thing is, though, I feel like this game is literally showing us disturbing images of how people can be with uh, the Raiders. Because you already know, if something like this were to actually happen, there would be people who are trying to farm and trying to... Uh, get back on track but there will also be people who don't want to do the work and would rather just fucking kill everybody and take their shit rape their women uh, and kill all the men and so on and so forth I feel like the book of Eli is like the perfect example of that in all honesty I, I, I mean I'd hope that I'm wrong but I don't know it's, people can be ugly sometimes So we got that last turret down. I think that's the last turret. Okay. Oh, we got a chainsaw. What? That's pretty cool. guy was. I don't think he's here anymore. That I killed him, so. Okay, whatever. Well, it looks like everyone's down, so I'm going to go ahead and fast travel back. Get the supply drop, okay. Well, let me go grab this first, if it's still there. Fuck out of here. Oh shit. All right. 
died and I leveled up. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to grab that. Okay, finally got out of there. Okay, let's see what we got over here. And oh, and it's floating. Okay. Heated shish kebab, don't need that, don't need that. Alright, good. We got the stuff. Cave crickets, be aware. This is the thing I like about the Tesla gun. It hurts the, it gives them uh, limb, da limb damage. Uh, so it hurts them, um, and they actually run away from, uh, so we have a dead squirrel there. They actually try to run away from you whenever you're, uh, gunning them down with the, the, uh, Tesla rifle. So that's pretty cool. So I made my camp back up here. This is originally where I had my first camp. So I, I put it back up there. So yeah, um, I am going to run to the restroom real quick. Be back. All right, and we're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. I should have changed those fucking locks. I should have thrown away the key. I gotta find the jetpack uh, plans. I gotta, I gotta make that jetpack. It's a must. I've got to. Okay, so let's get out of my power armor. Let's go ahead and collect 
like that. Just got to get some lighting up here. that leave us <laughs> flirt I don't know or I didn't know you felt that deeply about me Beckett you're welcome to stay at my camp for as long as you like what do you mean where does this leave us that's if Frankie's still alive let's just do you're welcome to stay at my camp that's, that's what that's I was hoping you'd say you know it's uh, Kind of funny. <laughs> In another life, you would have made a hell of a radio yourself. Imagine that. All right, I'm gonna head out to Watoga Underground and get things set up with Ronnie. You meet us there. Let's do this. All right, so let's see if this is the last mission. I thought this was gonna be the last mission, but apparently there's one more. Free Watoga. Uh. 
Oh man, did I not set up my defenses? Huh, he's running away. Man, I guess I didn't. Okay. Let me do that. Fuck, I thought I set up my defenses. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Got that out the way. Yeah, I still think that's so crazy that you need lead to make energy, energy ammo. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to use it for my fusion cells. For my Tesla rifle. Oh shoot, it gave me a Tesla rifle. Oh wow, okay. So let me go to my quote unquote armory. And I wonder if I can put it here. Because the Tesla rifle is not that big, so no, I can't. Okay. Mm. 
on a sign. Oh, okay. That one's okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign this one, and I'm going to use the one that they gave me. Okay. So this one's at level 50. Uh, okay. I don't think it has the shotgun. No, it doesn't. Okay. So the shotgun mod for the Tesla rifle, I don't really like it. Um, to me, it's not very great. So yeah. Oh, that's right. I got that chainsaw. Okay. I would scrap this, but I can't. Go ahead and scrap that. Uh, doesn't do very much damage. We'll go ahead and scrap that. Uh, inspect repair. Yeah, this charging shotgun barrel, it says it does more damage, but if you look at the accuracy, it has no accuracy at all. Um, so you can't really shoot it from range, you have to be up close. And even on top of that, it doesn't really do very much damage. So I'm not really a big fan of that. So yeah, I prefer to just stick to this. I haven't found any other mods though, so yeah, bear with me. Excuse me. Good one. I'm gonna go ahead and put my rail gun in there. Brakes fifty percent slower. Damage to super mutants. Replenish action points with each kill. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep that one on there. My dreams need to settle down. Just taking it all in. Picked a good spot for this place.
place here. You know what? I can scrap those. Good one. All right. All right. So now let's go. To Watoga Underground. Um. Okay, so it's gonna be over here. I'm gonna go to this train station. It's the only downside to making the camp that far up is it's a lot of caps to fast travel. I don't like that system, but you know it is what it is. Any tips on how to get more caps, make more caps, let me know, please. Like he doesn't really have any weapons here. Got some armor. Now displaying current. Um, chicken thigh. Got some chicken. Got some chicken. Got some cooked meat already. Death cloth steak. Fried fog crawler. Glowing meat, glowing meat steak, grilled hermit crab, grilled rad toad. Okay. How can I assist? Oh, that does help today. with carry weight, so I'm not gonna buy all of them. I'll get two though. Hermit crab meat, honeycomb, intestines. Okay. Rabbit's leg, rat scorpion egg, rat scorpion meat, ragstab meat. So it seems like when it's cooked, it's more sheep squash, sheep squash meat. Oh man, I ran into one of those um, the other day when I was playing. It's pretty cool, pretty crazy looking, but pretty cool. Oh, we got some tick blood. I think I needed some tick blood, actually. Let me take that. Ready to initiate trading. I like when they talk shit when they're uh, 
any attempt at five finger discount will result in me How killing you or some shit like that. You today. Advanced power connectors. Assault rifle, fierce receiver. Barbed harpoon, barn building set. Ready Brick building set. Broadsider. Broadsider multi shot canister. Combat rifle, automatic 38 receiver. Combat rifle, critical 38 receiver. Okay. Precise 38 receiver. Refined 38 receiver. Communism poster. Cryolator. Cultist blade. Cultist dagger. Merv launcher. Flamer napalm tank. Garage door. How can I assist you today? Ready to exchange items. Now displaying current stop. Oh, wow, there's an automatic piston receiver for the Railway gun. Ready to initiate That's new. How can I assist you today? Oh, well, looks like that's it. So, this does seem interesting. So, I'm gonna get that. So now I have that. Um, but I don't think there is a workbench here. Or a weapons workbench, I should say. Try it out now. You know what? I'm just gonna grab it. Um, what do I have so far? Blood Eagle leather jacket and jeans. Don't care for that.
Okay, so I'm gonna grab that. Keep my shotgun. Yeah. Okay. So I'm good with I'm good with that. Oh wow. Okay. I gotta get that. Stocking up on some ammo here. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the West Tech building. So from here, I'm gonna take out my power armor. I really gotta find the calibrated shocks. Um, Cause man, it's a bitch when you're trying to carry all this shit. Or when you use like all of your carry weight boosters and um, everything like that. Texting my brother real quick. My brother is texting me. Okay, so we got this building right here. I wonder what this building is. Okay, so this is Watoga. Watoga High School lobby. Okay. Okay, so just discovered that. That's not good. I like how he has a tuxedo painted on him. So this is what I mean, man. This Tesla rifle does limb damage. It is OP. It is awesome. And this one is even better. Um, yeah, it's even better. <laughs> because, yeah, I don't... It's, it's uh, stronger. It's level 50, so it's stronger than the one I had. The one I had was level um, 40. Uh, that's the one that I made, but it was I was only able to make it level 40 at the time. I guess because I was only at level 50. I don't know. Because uh, I tried to make it at level 50. Oh, no. You know what? I didn't have the materials to make it at level 50. That's why. I, I didn't have enough materials to make it at level 50. What the hell? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't have enough material to make it at level 50, so I made it at level 40. Because I needed a stronger weapon at the time. And so, yeah. All right, so we made it to the underground. Let's let's see if this is the last mission. Excuse me, getting a drink of some green tea. I'm pretty sure this is the last mission, so I don't know. We'll see though. Okay, so that's Ronnie. Beckett wants to talk to you. And Beckett. You're here. 
Now, it's a party. Is this the one you were talking about? Yep, yep. So you're the mysterious Ronnie. I almost thought Beckett was making you up. Yeah, I could see Beckett doing something like that. Luckily for both of you, I'm perfectly real. Here you go. Here you go. Peter Beastles. Didn't come cheap. Since you're here to take down the ball, who's worth it? I know this is a big risk for your gang. Thanks for doing this, Ronnie. Oh, sure. Now you're going to make me cry. Let's not get all warm and fuzzy here, Slip. That looks like the coat that the overseer was wearing. Well, not the coat, but the little shoulder pad that the overseer was wearing. We know, Ronnie. We know. Anyway, here's the plan. Ronnie's going to head to the main garage entrance and get her gang wrapped up. Meantime, we're gonna we're cut, cut our, our way through the eagles and head to the garage control room and get the door open. I wonder if this is gonna Clear enough. get rid of all the blood eagles. This is a bad time to tell you that I, how I really feel about you. Wow. <laughs> yep, I got it. The claw is the only one who knows where they're keeping Frank. So don't go all gun happy on me until I give the go ahead. I already told my gang. Any of them who the claw, they got to answer to me. All right. Good luck. No one can escape from the claw. All right, let's go check this out. Let's do this. Looks like we got a blood eagle robot. More bots. Oh shit. Oh wow, his gun is just like tearing him apart. Okay, maybe I should let him take point. Oh wow, I wonder what kind of ammo he's using. He's got a combat shotgun and his shit is doing that. But then again, the allies usually are really OP, so. His gun probably does a crap ton of damage. Rag stags do. Can we go in there? Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> Kick the door. With your bare hands, you easily force the door open. All right. Got some wine. It'd be cool if they had margaritas on here. 
So I'm I'm excited for the Fallout series that Amazon is going to do. I believe it's Amazon. I, I thought it was Netflix at first, but then I saw something about Amazon is going to be doing a live action show about Fallout. So pretty excited. Um, I don't know how I feel about a live action show. I don't know how I feel about a live action show. Um, just because, you know, I mean, if it's going to be a show, you know, a series, I feel like um, if you've seen, uh, what is that animation called? Love, Death, and Robots um, on Netflix. I feel like they could do something like that, like a motion capture. Or even if they don't want to do motion capture, um, I feel like they can do uh, an animated series. You know, I feel like an animated series would be good. It would be awesome. Badass. It would be just as good. Um, not only that, you know, you could do more. You could do more with an animated series as far as, you know, the animation is concerned. Um, and everything like that. With the Death Claws. Um, you know, even if they want to do the Gator Claws. Um... Uh, you know, whatever, you know, uh, the mutants, uh, I mean, not mutants, but the ghouls, you know, I just, I feel like an animated version of Fallout would probably be better than a, uh, or not probably, I feel like it would be better than a live action show, if I'm being honest. I would definitely like to see an animated version of the show instead of a, um, live action version but you know um still definitely excited to see what the show's about um and i hope that it's good you know uh i hope that they are able to make it the best show possible you know um i'm not naive i'm pretty sure it's probably gonna go for maybe maybe two maybe three seasons i don't see it going too far hopefully it does but yeah i don't i don't know i don't i don't see it going that far like i said two three seasons maybe but uh yeah i don't i don't see it going any further than that <clears throat> um you know i hope it does but yeah um i don't know But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we'll see how it turns out. Again, I hope that it's a good show, but I would definitely like to see them make an animated series of Fallout. Um, I feel like they could do more, and I would definitely like for them to start off with Fallout 76 in a way where it's 25 years after the bombs fell, and you know, follow stories even with the lore. Um, I saw this video on lore about a fallout character that you never even get to play 
someone whose story you can see on terminals in Fallout New Vegas. Now, I've never played Fallout New Vegas, but I heard a video. I heard, um, I believe it was two videos on the same character. And it's like, it's really interesting about this character. You know, even making a, a series with the first one being about this character. Um, you know, uh, the bombs fall. You know, he is going home to see his family. The bombs fall. He sees that they fall where his family lives. So he just automatically assumes that they're dead. You know, he sees an elderly couple together. They're both blinded from the blast. Um, you know, they basically, um, he puts them together in a loving way and kills them, basically. He shoots both of them in the head with his rifle um, to spare them their pain and to make it, you know, so that they can have their final moments together because he's not naive and he knows that uh, they're not going to make it, you know. So, um, I, I forget his name, but the story behind the character is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I heard some lore. Um, I was listening to some videos on some Fallout lore. And, you know, just to get a better understanding, because, again, I, I started playing Fallout uh, with Fallout 4. So I didn't get to experience New Vegas. Um, I didn't get to play Fallout 3. Fallout 2. I know there's people, there's diehards who played 2 and who played 1, you know, for from the, you know, from uh, the PS1 and everything like that. And I never got to play those. So, you know, um, uh, I was only familiar with Fallout with uh, Fallout 4. Um, so I think I've told this story before, but uh, anyways, I had a buddy of mine when I worked at a, uh, I was working at this uh, carpet cleaning place and I had a buddy of mine that I worked with and, <clears throat> you know, he was beyond excited for the new Fallout 4 game. Uh, he was telling me about it, talking to me about it, said it had been years since a Fallout game had been released. Uh, and, you know, he was really, really, really excited for this game to come out. He was talking my head off about it. Um, he actually called in to work uh, to play the game. He had waited uh, for the midnight release of the game and uh, called in to work. Said he played the game for about 12, 13 hours. Uh, didn't really get very far. I was like, man, how did you play the game that long and didn't get that far? Like, my initial thought was, man, you must suck. Uh, but, you know, I got on, uh, well, he kept telling me about it. So one day, uh, I was at work. I was working by myself, actually. Uh, I was at a customer's house cleaning their carpet. Uh, it was this young gentleman. Um, anyways, he was playing the game. Uh, I didn't know what game he was playing. I saw that he was playing the game, though. Uh, and the game looked interesting and uh, so uh, as I was uh, doing the job I was uh, cleaning the living room or no the hallway actually and I you know noticed that he was really into his game you know mind you it was about I want to say uh, between 12 and 1 in the afternoon uh, that ended up actually being my last stop um, I had got done early that day and everything. I was living in an apartment. Um, so, you know, um, I saw the game. I had asked him what game it was. He was telling me, he's like, yeah, it's the new Fallout game. And, you know, it's pretty badass, man. I've been playing this game for like 16 hours straight. I said, wow, 16 hours. He's like, yeah, man, it's really good. And like, I haven't even made a dent in the game so far. I'm like, oh, wow. So, you know, after that, um, I went uh, I got out of work, uh, obviously. I went to GameStop, looked for the game, found it, bought it. Um, and yeah, after that, I was hooked. I got on it. I My first time playing it, I didn't play for 12, 13 hours, anything crazy like that. Um, but I did play it for about six hours. And yeah, I barely made a dent in it myself. Yeah. I played it for about six hours 
and man it was it was it was a fun experience and i played the shit out of fallout 4 you know i played that game so much i i played the shit out of it um it was good i liked it i loved it it was good became it honestly became my favorite game uh, and my buddy was telling me that Fallout 3 was uh, really good. He was saying that Fallout 3 was the best one. He, if I remember correctly, did not like New Vegas as much as he liked Fallout Part 3. Um, but he did say New Vegas was also really good. He just preferred Part 3 more. Um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, he kind of told me a little bit more about it, but he had been telling me on and on and on about this game. So then I finally got it after I saw uh, the young man playing it uh, when I was uh, working. And yeah, after that, I've just been hooked on it. And I had originally got Fallout 76 a while back. Um, but to be honest with you, I was not happy with the game at first. Uh, and I really had stopped playing it after a while because I played it and it was fun at first but then all the glitches started to happen and after that um, I was not a fan um, it really started to glitch on me a lot uh, and I was like well wow you know like that's crazy so yeah after that I stopped playing it for a while um, and yeah I decided you know what I'm gonna play fall out some more you know I bought this freaking game maybe they made some updates that you know helped it because I know some companies do that you know especially when the fans are pissed um and you know so far I like it I'm happy with the updates uh, I'm happy with the game you know uh, I've been I've been playing the shit out of this game I play it I play it on a daily basis like I'm obsessed with this game it is that good well, at least for me. Uh, I, I do enjoy this game a lot. Uh, I've even been having some ideas. I play this game so much. <laughs> I I have, like, ideas of, like, little short stories. You know, um, uh, uh, it's a working title, but I've thought about calling it uh, Wasteland uh, Fallout Story or Tales from the Wasteland like I have on uh, my videos and calling it Tells from the Wasteland a Fallout Story or Fallout Stories you know I don't know but I, I, you know I probably won't write them <laughs> I'm, you know I don't really look at myself as a writer I don't even know if I'd be able to put uh, something like that together you know I'd have ideas for like a plot for like uh, what's going on and everything like that. I do like the concept of Fallout 4 where Nate is looking for his son only to find out his son is the director of um, the Institute, which is crazy. But you, you know, you end up finding out that his son is basically uh, an asshole <laughs> if you will uh, I mean you know he finds out his dad's still alive lets his dad free doesn't expect him to survive uh, just basically wanted to see what he'd do uh, and that was the whole purpose of him setting him free. It was just basically an experiment. He just wanted to see what you do. And he did not expect you to survive at all. He expected you to die. And yeah, it's crazy. But you know, you have an understanding of why. Why he is the way he is. Uh, and you know, it's very simple. You know, he was raised by the Institute. So, you know, what, what can you expect? Brought up, raised by the Institute, doesn't know any other way of life, didn't know you, he was still a baby. Alright, so something tells me this is where I gotta go, maybe? Alright, I think so.
cool. I got a thousand points for that. Just for scrapping my junk. I'm always short on steel for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, that knocked down a lot of uh, the weight. Okay, got a glowing play grat. Rad rat meat. Powder pistol. You know what? What is the level on that gun? Level 50. Okay, I'm gonna take it up. Required. Of course it does. Okay. Oh shit, that scared the crap out of me. Nuclear waste. the creepy dolls Let's see if this has something to do with it. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so this one's the last mission, so this one's probably going to be the longest mission. something in here oh yeah we got a rad roach okay. I don't know what that's supposed to be radio jammer I guess that's something new. I've only ran into like one other radio jammer in the game. So I'm assuming those have to be part of the updates or some of these newer missions that I haven't done yet. Okay, I keep forgetting that I can just walk away. manufacture my power armor <laughs> oh shoot okay there we go blood eagle predator 
Let's try to catch him off guard. And that did nothing to him. Terrible aim. Okay, so he had a grenade launcher. Get up there. We're being attacked by a giant ball boy. use some scrap right. and we got a fusion core man they they really uh, made the fusion cores have some weight behind them this they're like three pounds each. So you can't even carry a lot. Unless you're really using your power armor. But thankfully I have a perk that does not allow my fusion core to drain so quickly. One of the other... One of the other downsides to the fusion cores you can say is that they don't a lot of them aren't full you know some of them are like halfway charged some of them are a lot less than halfway charged you know so they're not really full so it's really hard to find a fusion core that is at 100% it's very rare um, I've only found a couple that were at like 90%. Most of the ones I find are at about 60, sometimes 70%, but you know, if I get lucky. Power armor definitely makes a difference. Definitely recommend power armor. It's a lot better than the, any other armor. So, yeah, definitely recommend power armor. You can't wear it until you're at about level 30. That's when you can finally start putting some pieces on. I believe the chassis you can put on, you just can't put the pieces of the armor together until you're at level 30. Um, I would definitely, definitely like them to change that. I mean, level 30... I would say at least level 20, if anything. Um, you know, but yeah. Level 30, it seems like, you know, it's like, come on, man, I just want to wear power armor already. Let's see, we're gonna deactivate. Oh, 
grenades and nothing. <laughs> Another fusion core. <clears throat> okay, so I hope I'm going the right way. Doesn't seem like it though, uh, because I've already been down this way. Okay. way. I like how it projects an arc between them. Some adhesive. Some more. There's no shortage of uh, finding adhesive on this on this game. Right Ah, someone left me a nuclear call quantum. Stabilizer fins. 
Suffering from Buzz Brain. Okay. So that means we're pretty much weighed down already. barely taking any damage. Hell oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that helps with the fusion core. I do like that you can put random legendary mods on it. Okay, so my armor's looking good. This is pretty cool. It's a whole little factory. Oh, I thought that was a little roach coming out of there. Okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come down here. <laughs> oh, maybe. Look right here. Um. Oh, yeah. Going the right way. Blood Eagle Protector.
Leave or die. Okay. Head flew right off. Take a look and see what we got over here. Yeah, so this has to be the last mission. Just by everything he said. And this is the longest mission. So let's see if that's going to help. Oh, yeah, back up. Oh, shit. Maybe that's not going to help. <laughs> So I noticed with the robots, when you go headshot, it doesn't do much damage. I guess that's where their armor is the strongest. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit, he's got a plasma gatlin rifle. Oh wow, I thought that was Beckett. Okay, so I'm gonna throw some grenades up there. See if that'll help to somewhat get me. Oh shit, that clear path up there. And they got an assault phone up there. Fuck! Now I am not looking forward to this.
Oh man, fuck those assault guns. It does always help when you have an ally. I have not done teams yet. I do want to do teams. I've only done teams when I first got the game. That was with a couple buddies of mine. But I don't think they play anymore. Alright, got the assault on out the way. Oh, fuck. Down. Ah, you see? So when I first was trying to get that fucking Gatling gun, the plasma one, oh my god, it did the same thing. The, the guy had it. I'm over here thinking, oh, I killed him, I'm gonna get it, but no. Ah, oh, bitch. Did not mean to do that. Okay, there goes Beckett. Like that asshole picked up the Gatlin plasma rifle or plasma Gatlin gun. Okay. Shit. Maybe this time it'll let me pick it up. I I do have one, but. Again. Well, I did get a plasma rifle, so that is good, I guess. To get a plasma rifle out of it. I have a flamer, but I don't have an actual rifle. I have the pistol and stuff too, but I like to use the sniper rifle when it comes to the plasma guns. I feel like those are really good. I don't know what this does. I don't know if I should push a button or not. I probably shouldn't. Knowing my luck, there'll be more robots coming out. feel like I'm going backwards and it probably is because I am yeah I'm going backwards So this is where I was just at. Let's 
squirrel a little bit. Got a dead squirrel. You know, I haven't seen a live squirrel. I've seen a chicken, but I haven't seen a live squirrel yet. I've seen the frogs too, but yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen a squirrel. I haven't seen a squirrel. Okay, let's check this out. Here we go. The claw. Oh wow, so he's the claw. Well, this sucks for Beckett. The fight ended long before it began, sweetie brother. It died when you left me in foundation. Left me so you could see the claw yourself. The draw was too much for you, wasn't it? The allure of power making you forget the past. Making you forget everything. We should have stuck you away like that. We, we should have stuck together. It is all my fault. Come on, Frank. Snap out of it. Okay, you are my brother. And I need you to come home. Frank? No. No, no, no. No. Frankie's dead. You killed him, Beckett. You pulled the trigger, but I know why. Really, to slay the claw and yourself become a claw anew. Finish the job, Do what you must. All right, so. Kill Frankie. It's clear Frankie. Oh, I'm sorry. Kill Frankie. <laughs> That's in the brackets. It's clear Frankie's too far gone. End it now. Save Frankie. Uh, you love your brother. You love your brother, Beckett. Talk to him. Remind him how much he means to you. Do you think there's any hope of getting him back to normal? How could Frankie be the claw? Maybe we should just leave. You have to solve this on your own, Beckett. Oh, that's a dick move, right? Let's go with Save Frankie. We came this far to, and I let the scientists who were making super mutants live. I can't just, even though I fucking hate raiders. Focus. 
I know you've been hurt, Frankie. And I know I wasn't there for you, especially when you needed me the most. And I'm sorry. It's not, not that, that easy, Bennett. Claude demands a high price for failure. The price is suffering. Listen to me, Frankie. Do you remember when we were kids? We were playing near that bombed out factory in Maryland. Those rabbit dogs just jumped out of nowhere and just surprised us. And we ran and ran. And that ditch twisted my leg like a dumbass, right? Mm -hmm. I, told I told you to run. run. What, did what did you say to me, man? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try, Try and remember. remember. Shoot him in the balls. Alright, so shut up and listen. After the dogs were gone and you reached into the ditch to help me out, what did you say? Tell me, god damn it, Frankie, tell me! I. I. I said. I. We were brothers and we never walk away from, from each other. No matter how bad. No matter how bad things became, yeah, yeah. that's exactly that's right. right. You fought off those dogs off and went and got that broken baseball bat out, and it almost killed you, man. But you, you, you saved me. You were so caught up in the fight, I, I thought I was going to lose you, Frankie. Oh wow! Convince Beckett to kill his brother. Convince Beckett to spare his brother's life. Remember. Watch over me for weeks. I. Uh, why can't I see it clearly? The hell happened to me, Becky? God, this hurts. Uh, it hurts so much. Oh, God, I know it hurts. I know it does. But whatever it takes, we'll get through this together. We are family, and I love you, Frankie. I always have, and always will. I love you too, Becky. And, and, and I'm sorry. Sorry for everything. All right. Frankie to a friend I know. Head back to your camp, right? I'll meet you there soon. And before you see anything, yes, I promise to show up. Don't worry. Have a safe trip back. You know, it kind of sounds like the guy who voiced uh, Deacon on Days Gone. 
All right, so now we're gonna head back to the camp. So yeah, I put my camp way back up here. Again, the only thing that sucks about having it way the fuck up here is uh, the fast travel costs. It costs a lot more to fast travel when you're uh, at the top of the map. So that's the only thing that sucks. Looks like we got some action. So I'm going to put my, I'm probably going to scrap that black powder pistol. No, I probably won't. It's stronger than the one I already got. So. I am going to store my Gatling gun away. I will store my combat rifle away. Things I miss about game life. Okay. Short list. Get my Iron Chef on. Anyone remember that show, Iron Chef? Anyone ever watch it? Just me. Some roasted ant. Oh, you know what? I don't even think I have a water machine here. Oh. It sucks because I can't put my. my uh, other water stuff here.
Oh. Oh, well, you know what? I do have that. Four drinks in one hand plus five in the other equals alcoholism. <laughs> Rather than do that, oh, wow, and they're fighting each other. telling you I don't know what the hell he's using but Jesus Kind of, kind of excited to see what that's gonna be about. That's, I think that's crazy that you can put a scope on here now. The 
only thing that really changes is the weight and the hip fire accuracy, but I don't really shoot from the hip too much. Firecracker berries. Don't tell me that they went bad already. Fuck. Oh, wow. You know, the Tesla rifle I have doesn't, or the one that I built, doesn't really break down as fast. This one seems like it's going to be... Breaking down pretty easy. Oh shit. Blow the whistle, blow it. Kill him, Beckett, kill him. <laughs> Since I've been in Appalachia, I've run into all sorts of people. You know, most of them wouldn't bother to help you if you were dying at their feet. But you, you know what you've done for me. And so did he kill him? My family. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to repay him. Oh, wow. It feels strange. It, uh, it scares the hell out of me. I, 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 I couldn't even keep my family intact. How was a relationship with you? And, you know, what, what if I mess things up? I know, I know. I, I sound crazy, but for once, you know, it's not the camp's talk. 
I thought that was supposed to be like a friendship thing. Is this changing mind about things? About us? There we go. Sure. sure. Yeah, I, I, I hear I what you're saying. saying. Yeah, I, I suppose there's no need to rush into anything right now. <laughs> wow. So, so I uh, guess, guess you, you have a lot of stuff, stuff to do, and I, I need to start the job. Just to run. Run. You know, if you, you ever need a drink, drink or just want to talk, talk. Uh, bar's, bar's always, always open. open. <laughs> Bolstering urban scout armor. Cool. Final word. Hell yeah. It's always good to see you around, friend. Okay. Breaks 50% slower. Nice. Oh, I can't store it. Fuck. combat rifle oh and I have some 50 caliber rounds too uh, I'm gonna go ahead and store those Looks like I can't.
bull bar thing. That's what the tick blow is for, right? Uh, let's see if I have any mute fruits, and I do. scorched so that takes blood packs corn okay I can make two of them All right, well, that's going to do it for me. So that was the end of Beckett's missions. And yeah, that'll do it for me. Ta-ta.